or they're gonna gout guard counter, which is very out of the ordinary. Very strange. But yeah, we just deleted him really quick because we were persistent. Hey guys, right off the bat, I would like to apologize for my subpar mic. I am getting a new one, so please hang in there with me. I would really appreciate it. I will remember the people that stuck with me back when I had a shitty mic, if my channel ever becomes a bigger deal. I don't know if it will, but if it does, I will remember you guys. Anyway, this is my first episode of my Invader Dojo series. In this series, I will grab basically anything in the game and showcase it and explain to you how to most effectively use it in an invasion. So, what I have today are Magma Blades. Now, these are very lackluster, but also amazing at the same time. They do big damage, but their range and moveset is lacking. Um, it has one really, really, really good attack. I will show you that and explain now. So this is your bread and butter, right here. This attack is amazing. Oh, not that one. This one. This one is amazing. It has a lot of forward momentum. It can roll catch, and it hits four times. This counts as four hits. So it can proc talismans that I have on the build to make it do even bigger damage. I will explain. But yeah, this is what you want to use most of the time. It has a lot of forward momentum, so you can get in and out. And you can hit people really fucking hard, really fast, and then escape. Because these do like 800 damage with that running attack. And, you know, once you've done 800 damage, whoever you hit is going to be on the run. They're going to be panic rolling. And then you can roll catch them again, because this is also a great roll catch. It's amazing. And the jumping L1 also hits four times, but it's situational at best. These are not very good because they have such short range, okay? You're not going to be outspacing people with these. They're just not that great for that. The only thing they're good for is a quick turn and burn on one person because you're not going to be turning and burning three dudes with that. There just isn't the range. You have to be right up in somebody's shit to make this work, okay? It's also good if somebody's rolling into you or being overly aggressive. You know, you can blender people pretty quick with them if they're dumb enough to walk into them. And, you know, that's kind of few and far between, even in gank squats. They're not that dumb most of the time. They are moderately dumb, though. Um, yeah, the Ash of War is very situational. It does damage, but it's such short range again, I don't really use it all that much. It can, uh, it can really fuck up a parry fisher. Like, if somebody's fishing for a parry, you can do this instead of a running attack, and they'll eat it. They'll take it straight to the face, and, you know, it's good for that. But otherwise, I never really use it. So yeah, what you're going to be using most of the time is this. And there's a reason for that, I will explain to you. Oops. Oops. Um, here's the build real quick. They don't have that great of scaling, but they do scale a little bit with faith. So I would recommend, you know, some faith so you can cast Golden Vow and uh, Beastial Vitality, because Golden Vow makes a significant difference with all the buffs I already have. Like, it, it makes this hit hard, and it makes you tanky. No, there's no reason not to have it. Even though I don't like buffs, I still recommend Golden Bow with a build like this. These do really good damage. These Magma Blades, they do really good damage without any scaling. So, they're, they're just really good in that department. They deal damage. They fucking hurt. Okay. Here's my gear. The Magma Blades. Carrier Retaliation. Claw Mark Seal. Here's my poise setup. I do recommend some poise, as always, because poise is for big strong boys, and you're a big strong boy. So get some poise. Bulgo's Talisman. Now, these are the two talismans that really make this build shine. So, these each, they proc, and they buff you whenever you make consecutive hits on someone. So, say I hit somebody four times with that running attack, it, bo it boosts my damage four times over. It is a huge multiplication of my damage, with Golden Bow already on top of it. So, it's a lot. Like, since that running attack counts as four hits, that makes it buff me four times, two from each talisman, and then my running attack has done like 800 damage by the end of it. So it, it really makes this build hurt. And then after you've landed that running attack, all the rest of your attacks are buffed too. I'm doing like five or 600 damage with L1s when I'm buffed, so it's, it's crazy. All you have to do is land one running attack and you're buffed four times, technically four times. It's all exponential, it all adds up to be a lot. So that's how I made this build ridiculous. I am always a damage chaser. I love damage. Nothing satisfies me more than damage. And in an innovation, it's the most important thing because you have to be able to finish somebody quickly or else their friends are going to come save them or they'll chug in your face and laugh at you. You don't want to do that. You know, you don't want that happening. If that's going on, you may as well just bend over and let them have their way with you. Nobody wants that. I don't want that for you. All right. 
So yeah, that's the gist of the build. I'm going to take it into Invasions now and try my best to explain to you why I'm doing what and what I'm doing and what does work and what does not work. So yeah, um, like and subscribe if you like PvP stuff. I make PvP builds, PvP guides, and now Invasion Dojo videos. I also make just regular Invasion commentary videos. So stick around if you feel like it. And uh, dislike if you dislike it. Also, let me know what the next video should be about. I need more Invasion Dojo ideas. I will use anything you guys want, even if it sucks. Just let me know in the comments, okay? Um, anyway, dislike if you dislike it. And uh, good hunting. Let's get into it. Alright, now they are in a tiny room, so we're going to have to play this cautiously. Kind of dip in and out with our running attack. Break his guard. Or they're going to gout guard counter, which is very out of the ordinary. Very strange. But yeah, we just deleted him really quick because we were persistent. Don't get caught in the rot spam. First priority, stay away from the rot. He's probably going to do it again. Oh my god. I thought I could stun him out of that. That was my mistake. Finish. Finish him. Finish him. Don't let him go. I don't know what spell that is. We gotta stay on this dude. Alright. Mission accomplished. Now it's just host. And he's pretty fucked. Because we do like 800 damage. Just gotta get one good running attack. Oh, he actually survived. I was incorrect. Oh yeah. Easy peasy. Easy peasy invasion. Simple as pie. I think I see two or three dudes down there. I hope it's not three. This is an enclosed area. If it is three, we're going to be in trouble because this is a small space. I'm just going to go after this dude. See if I can get him weak and finish him really quick. I can. There's no escape. Damn. I messed up real bad right there. That was a mistake on my part. Got a moon veil. One down. We stayed on him, we stayed persistent, and that's what these weapons are all about. Now it's just toast. He is, he is, he is helpless. He's, all he's got is a moon veil and a dream. And a panic roll. He's actually doing a pretty good job of evading me, which is surprising, but easy as pie. Persistence. We were probed for a weakness. They separated from each other a little bit, and we got a phantom, then host was helpless. And they are not paying attention. Let's punish it. Easy. See, as soon as we probe for a weakness and we find one, people are done with these weapons. That's just how it is. It's easy. Right now, looks like we've got three dudes back here, maybe two. The name of the game is Do Not Get Surrounded because these weapons are not good for turn and burns or wide arcs for attacking many people. They're not good for that. No. Die. Gotta take him out before his buddy kills me. I knew I could do it, but it was a risk I took. And now I just gotta deal with host here. He's so cute, look at him. Yeah, let me get at him. He's kind of crazy. You don't really expect him to be so R1 spammy these days. There we go. Now, I committed to that attack because I knew I could do more damage than him. That's the name of the game with these. This is going to be a battle. Now we got to throw for weaknesses. We need to find out which guy is the weakest link. I'm thinking it's going to be this guy. Oh, yeah. It was him. I called it. I gotta... Uh, sorry. I gotta get after that mage really quickly. The mage always becomes the first priority as soon as they shoot pew pews at you. That is my, my rule. When the mage shoots at you, he becomes priority. There we go. Priority dealt with. He was enemy number one, and we dealt with him quickly. Name of the game, man. Pro for weaknesses. Uh, is it just one guy? It can't be. I swear to God, I saw a phantom. Hmm. Why are you running? 
He's very scared. See, I took those hits because I knew I would do more damage than him. I poised straight through the third one. Easy as pie. Now there's three dudes in that room waiting to butt fuck me, and I'm not going to let them. I'm gonna be very cautious. Yeah, eh, at least two. Looks like looks like looks like two. Hang on. Let me do it. Yeah, I knew it. I knew that was a fucking plain gank. Alright, now we need to play this very cautiously and probe for the weaknesses. Lure them out. Oh no. Get them to make a mistake. They're spammers, I can already tell. Oh god, this is bad. Alright, I have to turn around and hit them now. I have to. If I keep running, they're just gonna pepper me with shit forever. Is he really edge walking? Hmm. That's the shitty thing about having such a short weapon. I can't hit that many people at once when they're all grouped up like this. Pro for weaknesses. I just gotta get one running attack in. I can get the initiative. How did that break my poise? That broke my poise somehow. I don't I don't know. I have like 70 fucking poise, bro. Alright, he did not level his vigor. So let's go for him first. Oh, he kinda did. Fucking bus thing. That's not a bus. It's like a carriage. It sabotaged me. Let's just stay on him like flies on shit. Oh, one more. Alright, there we go. Like I've been telling you guys, we gotta stay on people. Like flies on shit. Nope. Alright, now this guy. It is his turn. To be bothered by flies on shit. Because he is shit. One little tea bag. One sweet tea bag. Alright, now I'm gonna cast my buff and go find the host. Alright, they've been peppering me with spells for a minute. I didn't want to show you guys that footage because it's quite boring. Alright, get the mage. One more. Damn it, I hate how they fucking spin around so much. One down. So, he was getting a little too aggressive and I blendered him with my big damage. I probed for the weakness. Oh my god. Oh my god, this Flintstone Pebble shit pisses me off so bad. You're a scrub, dude. <laughs> He's casted that like 30 times and not hit me a single time. Till just now. God damn it! Why is that so tradable? Like, why why is that such an easy move to just throw at people when they're aggressing you? Watch him do it again. I hate this dude. I want to see him suffer. Okay. So when I calmed down and collected myself, I accepted that he was just going to spam that every time I ran into him. And I, I didn't get hit by it again. Oh, this looks like a fucking mess. Well, they are all three trying to gank the boss, so let's help the boss out. Oh, that mage has got to go. Yeah, you shouldn't have spammed at me, bud. Now you're the top priority. You're my first target. So yeah, like I said, when the mages start spamming you, they are top priority. Tried to rivers and blood spam me, and I rolled it effectively. All right, now there's another mage that wants to be top priority. He actually won that trade. Now we just gotta deal with spam or host. Well, he actually caught me that time. Yeah, rivers of blood spammers are really annoying for this reason. Audric. Alright. Easy as pie. We took out the weakest link one after another. The, the first mage, the second mage, and then the rivers of blood spammer. We only knew how to push L2. Honestly, didn't even notice he appeared on the compass again.
Hey, host. Are you ready? Are you ready to pay for your sins? In the name of God? Oh, I expected him to roll. That was my mistake. Damn, you're fucking crazy. Some... Some noobs are really crazy. And they'll just keep swinging like a madman. And you can't really anticipate it. I, I anticipate a roll catch, but sometimes they keep swinging. We've got two gonkers at 12 o'clock. They don't look that threatening. It should be easy. I'm just gonna probe around for a weakness. With my running attack, I'm gonna go in and out. Probe for the weakness. Oh. Yeah, he is, uh, he's probably the weakness, but the Bloodhound step is going to carry him. Oh my god, that is so disgusting. I guess I have to go for the host. So, in this situation, I would normally say parry the Bloodhound step user. Which I'm going to try to do. Are you serious? Is that unparryable? I feel like it might be unparryable. That seemed like a good timing to me. Yeah, when they when they bloodhound step into you, you can kind of blender them with your L ones. I ordinarily would parry them, because that's the most viable option, but it didn't work, and I don't want to risk it again in case that's unparryable. I'm going to go after Host real quick. If I can get him to walk into my L1s, so we're going to have an easy day. Worst case scenario, we can just ignore that Phantom, because he's just going to teleport around. Oh, please, 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 stay on him. No. Got to stay on this dude. Come on, come on. My character is not running because he's so low on stamina. I don't have any projectiles. I have to just stay on him. That's all I can do. This is about magma blades, not throwing knives. So I gotta stay on him. Are you just gonna run forever, son? Hmm? No. No. Yes. That was hard fought. He almost got away. And now this phantom is very upset with me. I wanted to find out if I could parry that. Let's assault them right now while they're distracted. Oh, I missed. That's a damn shame. One more. Guard broken. Dealt with easily. Oh, this is a full goat monster. You're an abomination. You deserve what I'm about to do to you. You deserve this. Now we just deal with one single host. And he is very tanky, but we have a lot of damage, thankfully. Oh, he broke my boys. Somehow. Alright. Even though he's an abomination, that was pretty easy. I hope he considers, uh, fucking off someday. Hey guys, I sincerely hope you enjoyed, and I, I hope I was able to help you learn how to use these effectively. Um, if you did enjoy, maybe like and subscribe if you want to stick around. Only if you feel like it, though. You're a free spirit. Dislike if you dislike it, too. That's important to me, also. Um, by the way, before I go, there is a subreddit for all things PvP and all from soft games called Bad Red Man. You can go there to discuss any discourse about PvP, regardless of what it is, so long as it's PvP related. I really like it there. Everybody likes it there. There's 2k invaders there, so I think you would enjoy it if you watched this video all the way through. Um, yeah, I hope I see you there. Good hunting.